and working her way up on the platform, crying. And she pushed her way through and she says, can your God heal my daughter? And so I looked at her eyes and I, and I told her, of course, of course my God can. Now the, the truth of the matter is, I have prayed for people like that in other third world countries. And I can remember one particular time in India that they saw, I looked in the eye, I didn't look any different, but they begin to see. And so anyway, I, you know, I'm convinced that we, all things are possible with God. And so I prayed with my whole heart the way that Jesus taught me. And uh, I closed my eyes and I prayed so I can focus more. And uh, while I was praying, Gary Metter told me this. He says, while I was praying, that he says it was like two white tornadoes over each eye. And then when I stopped praying, the tornadoes were gone and there were two beautiful brown eyes. And just to be real honest, when I seen the little girl, I'm thinking, what? why would anybody pull this kind of trick on me? In this kind of a place, serious setting, and bring another little girl, because she looks so different. Happened in your past, but this is something that is so firmly etched in my memory that I'll never forget it. I remember the sounds, the smells, I remember the heat. Uh, 4,000 people gathered in a little uh, square of a, of a Nicaraguan city. There's ash that's raining down from a volcano about 10 miles away. And it's hot. These people have been there four or five hours. And Mel asked the pastors to go out into the audience and bring up the most difficult cases. And I'm on the platform with them and they bring up this little girl, six years old. She's been born blind. Uh, it's just her eyes are just totally white and her mother is holding her. And uh, Mel brings her up and he asks um, everybody to bow their head and close their eyes. And I'm thinking, I'm not, if anything happens here, uh, I'm going to be the one that's going to see it. I'm not bowing my head, you know, reverently speaking. And he, he, he stuck his hand out toward the girl and began to pray. And, and what I observed was that uh, in the whites of her eyes, it was like two whirlpools beginning to spin and turn. And I don't know how long it lasted, maybe 60 seconds, maybe 90 seconds. But at the end of that, these two beautiful brown eyes just popped. And she began to look around and see the lights. But the thing that, that tore me up the most was the fact that when this little girl turned and saw her mother for the very first time, in her entire life and the mother is just weeping and I'm over there weeping as well and it was the most incredible moving miracle that I have ever seen in my entire life.